everyone, Matthew of Mr. Domestic here to show you this awesome tutorial for this woven tote. Did it with panels instead of a wrap around. It's a different technique. I think this is super chic. It's using my maker's tool print from my hooked collection that just came out. And I'm obsessed. Like two handles, there's lining. This is just a good like, hey, let's go around town, like kind of thing. I'm um, probably gonna fall in love with this bag once I spend some more time with it. So if you're ready to learn how to create this next level, chic, bombastic, amazing, phenomenal tote, then stick around with me. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. We're gonna have some fun, come on. So these are the dimensions of the foam in the fabric that you will need, don't worry. You can get this in a link in the description below. And I'm gonna show you now how to prepare them. This is fusible foam that I'm using. It's double-sided, anti soft and stable, love it, it's my go-to. And I'm essentially gonna take one piece of foam and I'm gonna lay it on top to where the wrong side is on top of the fusible. And then just take an iron and I'm gonna iron on top of it. Just notice that some of the strips in this pattern are centered and then some, one of the short ends goes to the short end. So there's two raw edges lined up on some of them. So I hope you really enjoy making this because I love this bag. So to weave the sides, I'm gonna do one of the main sides. It takes four of these. This is 12 inches with about an inch excess. This is what it looks like underneath. See, I'm still leaving that fusible there, but you can see the stitch line to keep the seam in place. I just edge stitched those. So these have excess on both sides, and then I need six of these, which only has excess on the bottom. And that is what we're gonna stitch all of the panels together once we finish making this textile. So the first thing to do is to pin all of these down. And I'm going to get them as close as possible because I want this entire width to be 12 inches. And with the extra bit of fluff, it might go over. Let me get a ruler. Yeah, so I'll keep this here just to guide it and it's under the four. Yay. Like so. Once again, the excess goes to the bottom. The top is flush. And make sure that these line up like so. So now I will need the other one that I've already completed right here. So I completed this one and this one I need it to be the opposite. So this one, since I'm starting on the bottom, this one went under right here. So now I'm going to put this one over and it'll make sense why I'm doing this whenever I get the others done. But let me go ahead and get this started like so. There's one done and now this one's the opposite. This is just a standard basket weave over, under, over, under. You'll alternate moving up. steam I'm gonna go over this until it's all a fix I'm gonna take my time on it and then once you are sure that the underside fusible is a fix then you can unpin it So I have all 
four of my panels that I'll show you in a second done. And then this is a 12 by six inch piece of the Andy Soft and Sable, the fusible, and then a piece of fabric for the base bottom that is an inch at a minimum exterior to this. And then I'm gonna put everything in order. This is the bottom, so the base of it. Let me show you this first. Move stuff out of the way. So if I started here, then I need to find this one, right? Because this one starts different. And then this one right here, and then this one here. And as you can see, it looks like it's one continuous weave around the sides, and that's what sewing is gonna make it look like. So it does depend and determine where they're going to be placed. So, boom, 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 boom. Like so, it's keeping it in order. Boom. <laughs> and then this goes right in the center. And so this right here, boom, boom. And now what I am going to do, the order of sewing, I'm going to sew each one of these panels right to the edge here. I might trim this up to a half inch seam allowance just to make it easier whenever I sew. I'll just go around this and then I'm going to sew up each of the sides because that will be easier to sew once the other sections are done. So meet me over to the sewing machine. Okay, these I've trimmed all the way around the sides and the bottom and then the top is roughly a half, five eighths of an inch. And now each one of these, I'm individually gonna take this over, right sides together. Probably won't use clips or pins because I can hold this in place and then, then just stitch as close to that edge of the foam as I can. Now I'll show you what that looks like over on Darth Vader. And then what I'm trying to do is to line this edge of this one up with this edge to line them. Then I'm going to just get really close in there and not stitch too fast. I think that this foot will work like so. And then just slowly stitch. Look at the seam, like so. So now that is the seam. Yeah, that's pretty clean and fresh. So I'm gonna do that with all four sides. So now I've done all of this. Look at all the seams. They're all crisp, crisp, ting, 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 ting. And now I'm gonna sew this to this. So I'm gonna go up each side and essentially, I wanna make sure that I sew this strip to this. So probably get in there and backstitch both of the front and the beginning. It's gonna look like overkill, but it's really important to have all of these stitched together because then it'll look like one continuous weave. and It'll have the structure of a standard tote. And then just one other thing, you can totally like fold this as you want to. I just folded these, made them line up, and I put a clip on each one of the pair of adjacent side strips so that I can sew them now in the sewing machine. So I have all of my lining pieces cut out. I'll have the dimensions in the pattern and they are interfaced with a woven interfacing just to give it some body, oddy, oddy. And here is the finished. Ooh. <laughs> and now I'm going to sew this up just like I did this. And then I'll come back and show you how to make the handles. So it's time to make the handles. This is what it's gonna look like. Ooh la la. In order to make it, you'll need two of the exterior, two of the interior. One of each is used in there. That is two and a half by 18 inches. Then you need two of these. That is the Annie Soft and Stable, one and a half by 18 inches. And essentially, I am going to put these on top of one another, like so. And then I will put this in the center 
And then I am going to take this over to the sewing machine and sew along the edge of this, trying to catch some of this. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to like edge stitch here, but I really want to catch part of the, the foam. It makes it easier to turn right side out. Go along that edge. And then honestly, if you just try to keep it straight or even like stitch in the ditch right here, it's gonna catch it enough to where you won't have to worry. Off camera, I'm gonna turn it right side out and press it so that we can edge stitch it. Now it's time to edge stitch just along both edges, like around to the edge, an eighth of an inch. And then now on these, I've marked a line at three inches on the back of both ends. And that is gonna be where I begin to fold it, like so. To fold it to where the interior is on the inside. And then now I'm going to stitch right along here. You can clip it if you choose to. I just feel like being reckless. So let's just go for it. And at the beginning, since this is a major seam, I'm going to back stitch. Just a couple times just to secure it. And then continue going. And I'll back stitch again at the end. the pieces to put together this is the exterior see it's a box by doing that it created that box shape it's awesome and this is the lining that I've done and just so you can see I use some pinking shears on the edges just to to clean them up to make it more crisp and I'm gonna stick this inside right sides together and line up the corners it makes it easier to sew and then the two handles you want it to curve like this right so this is the way that it needs to go and I am going to hook it on the edge right here and then the edge right here so it's the edge of the second and fifth strip like so so see so whenever it's on the outside it'll go like that then we're going to do the same thing with the other one like so that's not right that's not right yeah there's one way that it'll twist correctly so this is the outside so it'll go like this once again clipping here and here and i will add some more clips just all the way around to make sure this is all flush and then i'll take it over to my sewing machine okay so i am ready and i have it all clippity cloppity right and i just want you to see because i didn't remove that that i am going to sew it with this going up so i'm essentially going to sew along on the inside and i will leave like a two three inch gap there to turn everything right side out and then go all the way around with a half inch seam allowance. Since this is foam, it's very pliable. And right here on the corner, just flatten it just to make sure the seams. And with the math, you won't have a gap in between the strips. So just take one strip at a time. I didn't switch needles to like a denim like I, I normally would have, but if you have a problem with skipping stitches and you've checked out tension, etc., you might need to use a denim needle because it's a lot of layers. around to the other side 
I'm going to sew part of this strip, leave this middle one open, and then back stitch. And before I turn it right side out, I am going to stitch the whole thing again since it's an important seam. So I have turned it right side out, stuffed this in there, and then since there was fusible on the back, I pressed this, you can choose to do this or not, just to keep it in place to give it more structure of the bag. This I folded over and pressed, put some clips there, and now I'm going to edge stitch all the way around. So now I am going to stitch all the way around edge stitch, starting slightly before the open part, just to get it going. And here's one. because of the construction that shape isn't going anywhere it's all materials that could be washed i would suggest hand washing it in cool water so not to mess up any of the fusible going on on the inside but yes i'm gonna go on town grab my yarn well it's time to go <laughs> before that <laughs> keep it positive mr domestic out <laughs>